Institute of Open University in supporting the International Cricket Council with the development of the standard revision which has focused on um, experimental work to determine the, uh, the chances of the ball passing between the peak and the grill and also the chances of the grill being deformed onto the face for a direct ball impact which is something that has become uh, pretty topical in recent years with a number of high profile uh, issues. So our lab is well set up to do this sort of work. There are a number of laboratories like this around the world. Uh, each one has its own unique set of equipment and expertise. Um, and we certainly work together with some of these other laboratories from time to time to share best practice. Um, we publish in academic journals and things like this to make sure that everybody's benefiting from the latest state of the art. So the International Cricket Council have provided some funding which has underpinned this development which has allowed us to uh, spend time in the laboratory working out what the standard might be, trying some different methods. Um, and it's also allowed the brands to come in and, and have their products tested um, and in, in a subsidised way. So we've been able to work quite closely with the brands to make sure that they understand the implications of the new standard as it might be. So we have at the moment two academic members of staff, uh, myself and my colleague Ben Halkin, um, and we're supported uh, at the moment by James Jones in, in our lab who carries out the development work. It's something that we have, you know, we've been involved with for a number of years. It's not something that we'll, we will stop doing once the new standard has been published. We're supporting the development of the standard on behalf of the ICC and the National Cricket Council, but we, we are generally interested in safe, safety in sport and helmets is a big aspect of that, so it will, it will continue beyond the end of this year by which point the the advanced standard should be published.